What's going on guys? Ryan O'Toole back here again giving you guys another review. Today I'm going to be reviewing a crime comedy that I was looking forward to. And that movie is War Dogs. This movie is directed by Todd Phillips, the man who directed all three of the Hangover movies. And this movie stars Miles Teller, Jonah Hill, and Bradley Cooper. This movie is about two gun runners played by Teller and Hill. And Miles Teller's character, he's a father, he has a very hot wife and a daughter, and this guy's gotten fired from six jobs. And so he decides to go work with his former friend from high school, who's played by Jonah Hill. After working with his friend, these guys are making millions and millions of dollars of going around and trying to sell guns and ammo and delivering them to the armed forces. And they're doing this throughout the entire movie, but they're doing some illegal shit in this movie. And so, we got your crime comedy movie. I had some anticipation going into War Dogs because I think Todd Phillips did a good job with the first Hangover movie and the other two were pieces of shit. But I thought the first Hangover was really funny and Miles Teller and Jonah Hill, I'm a fan of both of these guys. I think Miles Teller is a fantastic actor when he's at his game and Jonah Hill is just hilarious. Picturing these two actors working together is something that got me excited for this movie to be something special. And it really wasn't, in my opinion. There were some things in this movie I did enjoy, but in the end, I left the theater disappointed with this movie. So, let's jump into what I like. The first thing I have to say is I enjoyed Miles Teller and Jonah Hill as a comedic pair. I thought for the most part they were funny and they worked well together as a team and acting wise both of these guys were the best parts of this entire movie and I just really enjoyed their presence on the screen. Miles Teller did a good job in this movie. He mainly plays the serious one of the two and I thought for the most part comedic wise he hits and he does drop a lot of F-bombs in the movie and it's great. Jonah Hill's character stole the entire show from me. He was my favorite in the movie. He was the funniest. He gave some great one-liners. And Jonah Hill is just a fantastic comedian in every movie he's in. Which leads into my next positive and it's that I found some of the jokes in the movie to hit but some of them weren't funny. But Overall, it did work for me and they were funny. The action sequences in the movie were really entertaining and cool to watch. There's this one scene in the movie that I won't spoil for you guys. It's this shootout scene involving a truck and it was pretty entertaining. I'm running out of positive things to say about this movie guys and there aren't much. As I said before, I was disappointed with this movie. The first con I had with this movie, I did say earlier some jokes hit, but I found a lot of jokes in this movie to be really not funny. I personally felt that this movie was trying to be something else. I felt like they were trying really too hard, but in the end I just didn't laugh that much and that's what really is shocking to me. Also a thing I was really aggravated by is the pacing in this movie. Oh my god, the pacing in this movie is really lagging. For example, there's a good amount of times in this movie it focuses on Miles Teller's girlfriend who's really hot and she just had a baby and they're going through all these problems and they focus on it a lot in this movie. And I really did not care about this at all. I wanted to see more of them going out and getting guns. It is so dumb. There were a good amount of times in this movie I was like, I really hope this movie picks up and comes out with a bang. And it really doesn't. And the last con I had with this movie is that the story is very cliche and it's trying to be some movies. For example, 21 Jump Street, 22 Jump Street, and The Wolf of Wall Street. I've seen that plot many times before. By the way, all three of those movies star Jonah Hill. Kind of fishy, right? 
In the end, guys, War Dogs had some good moments, but I left the theater disappointed. I did enjoy Teller and Hill in the movie, and there was just a lot of things. Pacing and the jokes just really didn't live up to par, and you guys might enjoy it, but I didn't. On my rating scale, I'm going to give War Dogs a 3 out of 5 stars. Due to the fact that Teller and Hill are in this movie, it could have gotten a lot worse. Alright guys, that was my review for War Dogs. Have you guys seen the movie yet? Are you going to go see it? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Thank you guys as always for watching this review. And if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe today for more content. All my social media links are in the description down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!